guys and welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today I have for you an actual nail art tutorial. Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these um, and it's also been a while since I did like a little collab video um, and in this case I'm collabing with Mialificent. Uh, you should definitely go check out her Instagram channel. She's got more than a thousand followers now and her nail art is like beyond anything that I can muster. Um, <laughs> so uh, we decided to do a little collab uh, and we um, also agreed on using a Creative Shop plate that we both have. This is Creative Shop 68 and it has all these cute little monsters on there. Um, yeah, and I wanted to try out a new technique also. I'm gonna show you that in a minute in the actual tutorial part. Um, and I'm pretty happy how this turned out to look. This is a little sneak peek. You're gonna see like all the close and all the you know steps and how to achieve this look but um, like I said this is a collab and I'm happy that I finally did to uh, you know get to do something together with Mialificent. Um, it has been a fun ride you know getting this look and you know getting to agree on um, a plate and doing you know something with it. Uh, we originally agreed to do advanced stamping um, meaning you know double you, you mean coloring in and stuff like that but I decided to digress and use another advanced stamping technique that I'm going to show you in the actual tutorial part. Um, I used neon pigments which are a pain in the butt because um, they're so messy but they um, are great for um, you know creating looks like this um, and for stamping with. So today we're going to stamp with pigments and I'm going to go ahead and let you take a sneaky peeky or let you take a peek at the actual tutorial. I'll meet you back for a final wrap up.
you guys so that was the tutorial part and this is the final look these like just swirly lines came off of a hee hee plate they were not on the 68 plate but I thought that I needed something to accompany like the little monster in the middle and I thought the lines would go well with the you know um, thing surrounding the monster and in the end I also decided to slap on a hollow taco because this look needed more hollow. I kind of look um, I kind of like how the like black chrome and the neon go together and then um, the hollow the sprinkle of hollow just really ties it together in my opinion um, yeah so this is the final look and that was my little tutorial. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you've tried stamping with pigments. This is not a technique that I came up with, not in any way, shape or form, but I've been seeing quite a lot of it lately on Instagram and I wanted to try it for myself. And I've also had these like neon pigments sitting around forever. <laughs> and because they're so messy, I never really did um, anything with them. So I'm happy that I got to use them today. Again, a big thank you to Mialificent who agreed to collab with me on this. Um, her look is amazing. I'm gonna pop in pictures of course um, and she will also post this on Instagram and I will also probably try my best to do like a little Instagram tutorial uh, meaning I have to cut all this down you know under one minute I think wow that's gonna be so hard so that's it for today you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below let me know if you've tried stamping with penguins before and how it went for you uh, other than that that's it for today you guys I love you very very much and I will talk to you next time Bye!